All right, all right, uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing this word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, and uh, Shabbat shalom, you know. Uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, you know, uh, Adawan Rataza, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my and my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Shai, you know, Bahashem, Rakakudash, it's going to be basically on, you know, wait, we are the end. All right, we are the end of Esau, Edom's, the so called white man's society. I wish the Lord set him up, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called God. All right, Yahweh mean he to be or he is this. All right, that's the Heavenly Father. All right, and that's the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, that's our Lord. You know, that's who we serve. You know, we don't serve idols. We serve the living power, you know, through his son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he's Savior, he delivered, because that's who's going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. You know, and uh, Lord willing, you can hear me because it's kind of windy out here. You know, Lord willing, this uh, lesson is uh, edifying, man. So this is the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter nine, and verse one. It says he answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, all right. And how do you measure the times? All right, you see what's going on around the earth, all right, around the planet, all right." In different uh, countries all right you see what's going on around the earth you know you're looking at alternative media news all right and you're linking it up to biblical prophecy all right because the Lord said these things was gonna happen in the last days before he makes his second return so you measure the time you see I like, uproars of the people you see famine you see earthquakes you see division then you know that hey the Lord spake of those things now we at the end and the Lord is about to make his second return for the world and we call Jesus Christ Verse 2, 2nd Edges 92, it says, Then shalt thou understand that the that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. The highest is the Heavenly Father. I and mean, ultimately he's gonna send his son Yahweh Shai back to visit the earth, I and mean, destroy the armies of the earth, and to wake up I mean to gather. Well, he's waking up the elect of Israel, but he's gonna gather, he's gonna physically deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, man. And how's the Lord visiting the earth in these times right now? All right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And that's how the Lord visiting the earth, man. When you see there's wildfires, when you see there's storm, when you see there's lightning, all right, and all those judgments, that's the Lord visiting the earth. That's the Lord angry because of the wickedness that's going on across the earth. And he do this every morning. This is the book of Zeph Zephaniah chapter three. Zephaniah chapter three, verse five, it says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not, sorry, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust nor no shame. So the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity every morning through the lord bring his judgment in life and that's just a judgment of yahweh by shai all right because the lord kill he makes alive let me get that man and i'm gonna just roll through the spirit the lord when it's edifying to the elect isaiah chapter 45 and verse uh seven isaiah chapter 45 and verse five isaiah 45 and five it says i am the lord and there is none else there is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. Besides Yahweh, Bashi Shai. I am the Lord, Yahweh. All right, it says, I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. 
I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So Yahweh Bashim Shah do all these things, man. So if you see somebody die by lightning, you see somebody die in the fucking floor in the in the flood, you see somebody get burned to death, or in in their in their little apartment building, or in their car, or wherever you you know. All right, in the building. All right, like the, like um, the twin towers. You see a tower fall. All right, that's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and that's how the Lord is visiting the earth. And also, it's gonna get worse and worse, man. Thermonuclear fire gonna hit this place, man. Two hundred. So like it. It's kind of windy. Two hundred million nuclear warheads gonna hit this place, man. All right, and a lot of people gonna die. All right. So back at second edges. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 2 again says, And then shalt thou understand that it is a, that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit a world which he made. And we just brought out how the Lord is visiting the world, man. All right, you got wars and rumors of wars, as the Lord said. All right, you got division among nations. All right, you got people that's anti-government. All right. All right, they're not with the different mandates and the different draconian laws. All right, that their that their political parties are setting up their governments. All right, so it's more division, man. Second Ezra is nine, in verse three. I'll wait till these demons pass. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse three, it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, when you see earthquakes and uproars of the people of the world, what, what's next? Verse four, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So when you see these things happen, you know that the Lord spake of those things. All right, and these was the time all right, that the Lord, that the Lord Yahweh is going to visit the earth, which He made, man. All right, a couple precepts. This is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse we always go to, because we in these times, yeah. If you don't want, if you don't like it, you know, change the channel. Because why? These are the times that we in, and we warning our people. All right, Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? So the disciples came to the Lord, he said, What's going to be the sign of your coming, or your second coming, in the end of the world? The world meaning eon, right? a certain time of rulership, all right? The end of Esau, Edom's world, because Esau is the inner world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed them, all right? Verse 4. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying that I saying I am the anointed, or Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. You see a lot of false prophets deceiving people, dece deceiving the most the, the, the majority of these people. All right, then you got the Catholic Church, which is a false prophet in the scripture. They deceiving the right, majority of the world. That's why they're gonna take the MOTB. That's why they worship the image of the beast, the revised Roman Empire. All right. The beast is NATO. All right. The EU. All right. And America is that whore that rotted the beast. All right. And this place is over, man. Many false prophets are going to come out saying that there is anointed, that there is Hamas, Yaki, Haosha, and they're going to deceive many. And those who be, de be deceived, they're going to die, bro. Verse 5. And many says uh, Matthew 24 and 5, it says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed. And it's red letter, it's our Lord Yahweh Shah. And shall deceive many, many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So you're gonna hear wars and rumors of wars, man. The war of World War Three, and this war shall be fought, all right, with fuel of fire, as the scripture says. Every battle of the warriors with confused noise and, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. All right. The Lord said he created a smith that bloweth the coals in the fire that bringeth forth the instrument for his work. 
Lord said he have created a waste to destroy. That's those nuclear science. The Lord put the spirit on those nuclear scientists to create the waste to destroy, meaning those missiles, man. All right, so you're going to hear wars and rumors of wars. All right? But the, but uh, these things must come, come to pass, but the end is not, not yet. Matthew 24 and verse 7. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So the Lord spoke of those things, just how Edra said. Nation shall rise against nation, uproars, you know. Kingdom against kingdom, fights, you know, scrambles, uh, 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 sanctions, all right, proxy wars, all right. Famines, food shortages, all right. The Lord sending earth, sending, um, sending a heat wave, sending floods, that's caused famines. All right, you have the the uh, the, the uh, so-called Illuminati, which is the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Duponts, the people that's head that's run the society, the wicked that the Bible sees of, uh, manufactured famines. All right, they shutting down different uh, companies because right? these people they don't grow, they don't have farms and stuff, they don't know how to farm and, and you know vegetate the land and till the land and bring forth fruit. No, they go to their supermarket. They go to Walmart, Publix, uh, whatever, Aldi's, you know, uh, Walmart, these different stores. They go to McDonald's. They eat, you know, fast food and stuff. They don't know how to, like, live off the earth. So a famine is, uh, so a famine is, <laughs> fucking demon. Famine is, is orchestrated via that way. You know, you can just shut down stores. And people that are not going to have food, you can shut down the trucking industry. All right? But the Lord said these things are going to happen. Pestilence, all right, different diseases. All right, right now you got the CD19, which is, you know, they, they're using this to bring forth their NWO, which is not going to happen. All right? But the Lord said it's going to be pestilence, man. So the Lord, there is some disease out there, all right? That the Lord is bringing forth because the Lord Yahusha said these things is going to come to pass, and earthquakes in diverse places, diverse places. So you're going to have earthquakes in different parts of the earth: Australia, Puerto Rico, New Mexico, Britain. You know, all type, all all over the earth. This is going to be a sign of the Lord's coming. Verse eight: All these are the beginning of sorrows. Verse nine. And then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Who is that talking about? The prophets, man. All right. The prophets of Yahweh Bashima Shah, because the scripture says the servant is not greater than the master. The Lord said, some here is the, that's going to be beheaded all right, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah, but they're going to receive life. So they're going to try to, a small number, you know, we believe. Of, of of sincere Akim, you know, we're gonna have to lay our down our life for for Yahweh Bashim Ashad. But those who die first in the Most High shall be those who die in the Lord shall be first risen with the Lord when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns. And those who's on the earth that survive, they're gonna be caught up with the heavenly Father, with our Lord Yahweh Shah. And you know, the brothers, the Akim, the elect, you know, all right. And we're gonna be hated of all nations for our namesake. You know, they call us they call us uh rapists, pedophiles. Alright. They call us false prophets. Why? Because we got the truth. We got a hundred percent truth, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And we stand boldly for the Lord, man. Because why? We want the Lord to stand boldly for us in that day, the time of Jacob's trouble, which is nearly approaching. The time that the MOTB it's going to be made mandatory. You're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have that in your right hand or your forehead or any part of your body, man. It's going to be a time of a trip say in the last days, perilous time shall come. If you're not joined unto Yahweh Bashim Shai, and Yahweh Bashim Shai is not your, not your strong tower, trip say the name of the Lord is strong tower, the righteous running to it, and it's safe, man. If you're not rooted and built up in the faith, you're going to fold. Because why? Your foundation wasn't built upon that rock, which is Yahweh Shai. It was built upon sand. And when that flood came in that in that tribulation, you gonna fold up, man. All right, Matthew twenty four and ten it says, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Now it's these people of the world. All right, betraying one another, hate one another. All right, 
And you see it's in the truth. Some it's in the truth too. You see men that was in the truth, you know, on fire. And then they begin to hate, begin to get offended, getting rebuked, you know. And then they begin to hate, brothers. And then the Lord spew you this Lord spew them out, man. Why? Because the Lord is looking for all right, the elect. All right. The sincere I can, man. Niggas get offended because you got to do videos. Niggas get offended because their brother tell you, like, correct yourself, man. You going up. They get offended and they start hating them, brother. All right? Then the Lord spew them out, man, because why? Their, their lot in this in this world and this truth is to be a part of that two-thirds that's going to die here in America, man. Verse 11. Matthew 24 and 11 says, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And we see that these other Israelite groups are telling our people that the name of the Lord is not important, that we don't have the name of the Lord. That's whosoever shall call the name of Yahweh Bashimasha shall be saved, man. What? The Lord said he's going to return to us a pure language. All right, the scripture said we're going to cry unto the Lord because of our passion because of our oppressors and he shall send them a savior a mighty one our lord yahweh shy man the lord said he's gonna stare up our mind by the way of remembrance of course we have the name man how shall we call upon him who we have not know have not heard man whom, whom we have not known that don't make no damn sense they shall call on my name and i will be their guy and they shall be my people zachariah 13 and what eight nine eight and nine Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall arise, no, slide, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, and the love, sorry, and because Matthew 24 and 12, slide here. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because sin upon sin is a, is a uh, bounding, the love of many are waxing cold. That's why you look at these news articles. You got husband killing wives, husband killing whole families, killing themselves. Wise killing children, grandparents, uh, grandparents killing each other. <laughs> you know, you got a uh, uh, older seventy-year-old killing their husband. You know, shit is children plotting to um, have a um, a school shooting, like little 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 small little uh, teenagers. You know. The Columbine. They said they wanted to have a Columbine plot to kill, like a, uh, like a, like a, another Colum Columbine. You know, shooting school shootings, man. All right. The Lord said He's gonna cause division. All right, we're in that time right now, man. All right. So hey, we're not it, we're not we're not surprised when we see certain things because why? This earth is ran by the wicked. So. You gonna see wickedness throughout the whole earth, man. All right, but also you gonna see righteousness in the truth, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. Matthew twenty four and verse twelve, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Verse thirteen it says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So you gotta endure in the truth. He that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Saved from what, man? Those nuclear missiles, man. Those nuclear warheads that fire from that's coming. Because that's the ultimate. That's what's going to destroy America, man. That fire, man. Like that nuclear fire that the Lord, you know, written of, that the Lord spoke of a thousand years ago, man. All right. Verse 14, Matthew 24 and 14 says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this gospel got to be preached, all right? And then the end is going to come, man, all right? The end of Esau, you know, so-called white man society, you know? I'm going to let this demon walk past. Why is it a serpent homeless as a dove as the scriptures say, man? 
All right, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to Second Ezra's chapter, the ninth chapter. All right. You know, be live peacefully with all men. You know, we we you know we peaceful men, but you can see fucking people, man. You know. You know. Second Ezra chapter nine. You know, be wise as serpent, homes as a dove. You know. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse uh, where was I? Verse three. It says, "Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning." So the Lord declared the end from the beginning. That's what you been saying. Let me get that. We know these things happen because it's written. Is is one big, you know, is a puzzle. All right, that you have to have the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah to put it together so you can have the understanding. All right. Understanding, having the mind of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shemashah. And this is a gift. This is a gift. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 8. It says, remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it, bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am the Most High, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times is things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So Yahweh Shemashah, his counsel is going to stand, and he's going to do all his pleasure. All right? And his pleasure is to destroy this place, man, and to take down the wicked and have his son, Yahweh Shai, reign forever. All right, and us being joint heirs with the Lord and, and establishing the throne of David. Right, as the Lord said, I'm going to build up the tabernacle of David that has fallen, you know, and close the breaches thereof, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And the Lord is doing this for us, man. This end is happening for, for his people, man, that he may have, uh, uh, that he may rejoice in his people and, and that Israel may glorify the Lord, man. It's all him. The Lord love love is none love is none but them that dwell with wisdom. And the Lord, He gonna put it a part of the second covenant. He gonna put His law, statutes, commandments in our inward part, man. We never gonna sin again. So how how much pleased is the Lord gonna be with us, man? As the Lord see us doing all this, seeing you know majority of our people as a nation, you know doing all this wickedness. You know He's angry. The Lord, scripture say the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Imagine like when we all righteous and we all, you know, on point as a nation and glorify the Lord forever and ever and ever, man. You know the Lord going to be pleased with that, man. The Lord going to be, you know, he's going to continue to bless us, you know. So this discussion must happen that the Lord may have pleasure in his people, man, as a whole, you know. And the Lord said he's going to do all his pleasure. So back at Second Ezra chapter nine, but before, I right, but before this destruction come, the Lord is is warning His people, starting you know, starting uh, you know, uh, setting up the prophets. Started with Elder Alva Bivens, you know, late '60s, early '70s, on down. High Priest Ariyah, High Priest Yaquab, you know. Uh, you got uh, 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 all the elders, Pastor Sahar. All right, King Masha, you know, and all the great elders, the righteous great elders, you know, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Raka, Apostle Ramla, you know, Elder Manatazat, Elder Sakharan, you know, Elder Anap, you know, going on and down, you know, Elder Taziawan, you know, all the, all the elders, man, you know. The Lord set it, set them up, you know, to warn the people and the elders on down, you know, Elder Yashwamba, all, all on down, Elder Makama, you know, all the elders, you know, and the men on down like ourselves, you know, the young brothers that came in, you know, the Lord set up prophets to warn his people, all right, that they may return to the Lord. But we know that though Israel be as the center of the sea, only a, a remnant shall return, man, you know, and we pray we are part of that remnant. Uh, second Ezra 9 and verse um, 5 It says for like as all that is made in the world Have a beginning and an end And the end is manifest and the end is being manifest Because the Lord said these things are going to happen 
And we've seen it. It's being manifested. Scripture said we have a more sure word of prophecy, man. Let me get that. Bear with me. Get a couple more precepts. I'm going to close it out. You know. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 1 in verse 19. It says, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. And who is that light? We are that light through the word. You know, Yahweh is the light. He gave us his truth. So we are illuminated. You know, by having his truth. And we are that light up on the hill on the hill that cannot be healed. So like we are we are that light upon the hill that cannot be healed. You know, so the scripture say so let so let your light shine forth, bro. Paraphrase to glorify your father which is in heaven. So we do this to glorify you how by Shema shine. As unto a light that shines in a dark place, here that dark place here in America. Alright, this whole society really, because it's ran by the wicked the whole earth um let me get that is out of course i think it's psalms 82 i believe psalms 82 in verse 5 it says they know not neither do they understand they walk on in darkness all the foundations of the earth are out of course all right so these people, all the foundation on the earth is out of course. They walk on in darkness, man. All right, but we have that light. So like it for the wind. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise and shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So darkness is covering the whole earth. But the Lord said his light shall be on thee and shall be seen upon us. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Psalms chapter 118. Psalms chapter 118. Psalm chapter 118 and chapter 27. Yahweh is the Lord which have shewed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords even unto the horns of the altars. Thou art my power and I will praise thee. Thou art my power and I will exalt thee. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shemashah, for he is good for his mercy and doeth forever. So, so Verse 27, Yahweh is the Lord which hath showed us light. Meaning this word. Alright. 2 Peter 1 and verse 19. For we have a for we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. So we that light. Unto the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. All right, the day star was representing Yahweh Shai. He said, I, uh, I will give you the morning star. All right, roughly paraphrasing. Verse 20, it says, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of Yahweh by Shemashah spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So the Lord set up righteous men to write these things and, and to publish, to make it public for us. Is the will in the divine, all right, spirit, the Holy Spirit, the ha the Harakakodash, that was set upon men to have them write these things for us in these times that we may know. So we have a more sure word of prophecy, man. So we know these things are going to come to pass because the end is made manifest. Second Andrew chapter nine and verse six. Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and signs and effects. We see that different signs different wonders because these was a part of the the things the tokens or signs that was going to happen before the lord you know uh show the end verse seven and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed so you gotta have faith coupled or mixed with 
your works, man. All right? Because faith without works is dead. You're going to show your faith by your works, man. All right? And whereby ye believe, verse 8, shall be, 2 9 and 8, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. All right? So the elect was preordained or predestinated all right, to receive salvation from the beginning, you know, you know, so Lord, when this lesson was uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep doing. Shalom.